distance to go before you get to any port. I mean, people say, oh, how can you go on the boat every weekend? But we, I, I actually love going on the boat. It's a great. It's a escape. It's escape, yeah. And you do unwind and yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think even to cook a meal on the boat is different than to cook at home. It tastes different, even though it could be the very same thing that you cook. So, yeah. and then again, of course, I enjoy cooking anyway. So, and I know you enjoy eating. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly, <laughs> I enjoy eating. <laughs> it's not the most de-stressing sight you've ever seen. It is absolutely glorious, lads. And it's so warm today, and here we are at the middle of October. I think one of the things that I've learned from 2020, and I've learned a lot of things from 2020, one of the main ones is how I had come to take a lot of this for granted. A lot of this tranquility and relaxation and some of the therapeutic benefits of going boating. Some of the mental health benefits of going boating. And um, I don't think I'll take that for granted for a long, long time to come. Lacri is certainly one of the most beautiful lakes on all of the Shannon navigation. I'm always kind of amazed at the fact that we come out here and we have dozens and dozens and dozens of square miles of water to ourselves. I can't understand how the rest of the world isn't copping onto this. I mean, look at that. There just isn't another boat in sight. We have the place to ourselves. This is just beautiful. I should really go back and take the wheel, haven't I? It's not, not a good idea to leave it unattended for too long. In fairness, that's one thing about Driftwood. She does hold a, a straight course and um, you can run inside, stick on the kettle if you're on your own in the boat as I've done before. and You generally get away with it, especially out here on a lake. We are heading out onto Loch Ree on what could sadly possibly be one of our last cruises for 2020 even though we intend to use the boat all through the winter as much as we can but uh, all the talk every time you turn on the radio or you can look online is that there's a lockdown coming. At the moment this is shorts t-shirt weather it's incredibly warm for the middle of October and uh, we said the hell with it we'll go out have a spin today because we don't know what's going to happen what's going to be around the corner we don't even know where we're going to be honest with you we haven't really just out we, so we just go out on the lake there's not a breath of wind beautiful now because I wouldn't be going out if there was any bit of a chap at all no and there was there was loads of swimmers out swimming there today up in uh, just off Lanesbury so we we stuck up the road and we got this bit of footage of them on a I tell you, they didn't entice me to get into the water, but it's nice to see so many people swimming and they see the river being used for things other than just boating and fishing. Yeah, we had to go to the shops this morning and there was a guard at checkpoint. Mm. From, because is the it? bridge in Lanesborough is the border between, border between Roscommon and Lanesborough. Longford. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Ros yeah, the border between Roscommon and Longford. And Longford yeah. yeah. So even though the, the shop is right beside us, we have to go out of our county to get to the shop. now. It's only, at the moment, it's only advisory. They're asking you not to go, but it but was, that, it was that, or, that or what, eight miles into, in into Roscommon Town. Yeah. So we just went across the bridge, did a wee bit of shopping, and back we came, there's no bother, thank God. I've often said to people when they're hiring boats, not to hire in June, July, and August, because I kind of maintain that that's our, our monsoon season, that's the rainy season. And often if you hire in the spring, or if you hire in the autumn, like this in October, you can be you can be lucky and you can get really really good weather, which of course you get much better rate from the higher company as well. Yeah, June, July, and August is often 
very cloudy and often very wet and of course it's much more expensive to hire a boat during that period now don't get me wrong you can hire off season and be very very unlucky with the weather as well but oh hang on look at this wow we, eat, we? we do This is in Lanesboro. It's a beautiful wooded walkway and the path just winds its way through all the trees here. You get kind of, you get disorientated here pretty quickly, but luckily it's all very well signposted. I think it's described as a semi-natural woodland. They're all deciduous trees, not the spruce and the evergreens that we normally see in, in forests but it's, it's beautiful the trouble with covid is that you can't go for a pint because the pubs are closed you can't go and see a show because the theaters and cinemas are closed you, you can't go and out and have a meal because the restaurants are closed but one thing you can do is you can come to a spot like this and you can go for a lovely walk and this, in fairness now, is, as far as walks go, this one is hard to beat. It's the thing about these lovely autumnal days, that the sun is low in the sky and it can be kind of dazzling at times. But it's also beautiful the way it dapples through all the trees. Subscribing to the Driftwood Boat Blog is absolutely free. All you do is you go to YouTube, in the search bar, type in Driftwood Boat Blog. And up the top there you'll see the Driftwood Boat Block logo. Just click on that and that brings you to our channel and to over 100 videos. If you click the subscribe button, click the bell, tick all, you'll get a notification every time we bring out a new video and you'll also be helping the channel. Thanks for subscribing.